I'm going to come there in about a second. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, just to say we're at Parliament with Melanie. Um, I'm going to pass over to Melanie in a minute so she can explain to you what has happened and what they have said about handing the letter in for the statutory public inquiry into the deaths and a lot of them suspicious in the Linden Centre. Melanie. Hello, Tracy. Hi, uh, um, I'm just turning this round. Hi, Melanie. Um, can you just explain to the people here today what is happening with the letter that you wanted to hand in to Boris Johnson today? What they have said to you, you have to do with that letter now. I have to put it in the post. Um, so tomorrow that will go in the post, a day late. Um, due to COVID, we couldn't go into down the street. We couldn't make an appointment. Um, every barrier in the, all of this fight that I could have found uh, has come across me. Apart from the good Lord today, give me it took away the rain, yeah. and uh, he brought some wonderful people down here, and um, we'll keep pushing for a statutory public inquiry. That's what we need. And uh, to, you know, if the changes aren't made across this nation to try and save lives, um, then they're just going to continue to die. So, is this call to the nation? This is to get behind this campaign. We have all the seeds for a good investigation here in Essex and find out exactly what's gone wrong in one trust, send it across to the other 53, and then start on the private sector. Because, you know, kids and adults, dementia, autism, they are all being failed at the moment. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. Share if you can. We are here today outside Downing Street, the gates of hell, because that's what it that's what they are, the gates of hell. You know, everyone have battles going on. Mel Melanie, as you just heard from, and all the families that are with her and fighting for their loved ones. Me, there's many of me out here, you know, fighting. Many other families who have had their children taken off them, fighting. Veterans fighting. Everyone's fighting for justice and no one is listening. Uh, the same as Melanie. She had a petition, I know some of you will already know, of 105,000 signatures asking for a statutory public inquiry. Yes, Susan, justice for all. Yeah? And not just here in the UK, across the world, because we know what's going on. Many of you are awake to the evil that we live because this really is good versus evil yeah and although we walk amongst evil we will not fear evil because we don't do we here in this country that used to be a great country when good men stood up when there was a wrongdoing yeah but what they did with all their agendas and one of those agendas and i'm gonna say it um, that they brought in intentionally to weaken the men was feminism. So it put the man behind the woman instead of the man in front of the woman. All these agendas, you have to see what is going on in this country. And thank you, um, Carol, from France, for your message there. So hi, everyone. Like I said, I haven't gone anywhere. I've been watching, looking seeing who people are, seeing what the demos are saying and everything else. I haven't gone anywhere. Hi, Serena. And just to say, I want to make you aware of something that not many people are talking about. Now, what you've got is all this scaremongering on the TV, haven't you, about this pandemic? Because believe me, that is exactly what it is. But I always see it, say... Do what you think is best for you and your family in what you believe to be true. I can only tell you my truth on my research and the evil system that I've been put into because of what they did to my son. None of us should be out here fighting. None of us. But we are. Because what they do and what they're doing is wrong and it's not right. 
Um, and I want to say why it, all this is diversion. The scaremongering, all their propaganda on TV, it's all scaremongering and diversion because it'll always be about what you're not seeing. And what are they doing at the moment? They're subliminally making people think that are not aware to how evil these people are. They're making people think, oh, I need a vaccine, I need a vaccine. And then what happens in the background? They push the flu vaccine. The flu vaccine has now been added to the children's vaccination programmes, ages two to 10, every single year. Now, I have seven children, seven. Never caught flu, not once. Croup, whooping cough, bronchitis, children do catch, but not the flu. They're telling pregnant mothers that they have to have the flu injection to protect their babies. This is what's going on in the background. They're now offering it to millions, to millions in the country, the flu vaccine. And this is what you've got to look at. And subliminally, the people who, who are waiting for this vaccine will run and get that flu vaccine because that's what's been programmed into their brain. Yeah, they have taken the wrong path. So I wanted to mention about that flu vaccine because that's what I can see is going on in the background. Any new mothers that have children will not know and not realise that last year that wasn't in that immunisation programme. We are not guinea pigs. We are men and women and we are brave and we need to stand up just like Melanie's doing here today, even though they haven't allowed her to hand the letter in she has to send it in and she's come quite away all the way here today so everyone i will speak and 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 see you soon i'll just quickly put this on and please remember all this is diversion acting propaganda that's all they are actors just like their acts and statutes yeah and they're nothing more than that and remember no matter what they say consent is law consent and you have the Nuremberg codes and everything else that protects you yeah these people will lie and deceive along with the media you was told a long time ago by a famous person that the media are your enemy and they are and you have to know your enemy so thank you everyone I will be on again soon I certainly ain't going anywhere and I certainly don't fear those devils in there because that's really what they are. So take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please share.